So that is everything that I used up this much. Ugh. So that is everything I used up this month. If you, why can't I talk? Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is going to be my product empties that I used up in the month of September. I do have some makeup, some skincare, some bath, and a whole lot of candles to show you. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first few items I used up are just these face masks. And these two right here I absolutely love. These are from the Moisture Bomb line from Garnier. So that top one is supposed to be anti-fatigue and then this back one is just the regular moisture one. I do really enjoy both of these. I think they are absolutely fantastic. However, this Animal Otter Sheet Mask, this was really cute and like when you put it on your face, the mask kind of looks like an otter. So even though this says Aqua Moisture Mask to reinforce moisture retention of dry and water insufficient skin with aqua energy creating moist and silky skin. I do not agree with that claim whatsoever. Maybe if you have like normal or oily skin, this might work for you, but this dried the crap out of my face. Not a fan, would not repurchase. Okay, and then next I did use up some Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. This is just one of the mini packs. I mostly just use these to like remove swatches and stuff like that. Um, I definitely prefer a micellar water on my face to remove my makeup, but these are just okay. I definitely prefer the darker blue packaging that's like the hydrating version. And speaking of my cellar water, I did use up this Garnier one. I did really like this, but honestly, I like the L'Oreal one better. But if you have very stubborn makeup, this is really good at getting off waterproof makeup. And as far as bath products, I did go ahead and use up a bottle of my favorite shampoo. This is the Head & Shoulders 2-in-1 Nourishing Hair and Scalp Care. This is the lavender version. I absolutely love this. So not only do I have dry skin all over my entire body, but my scalp gets super dry, super itchy, super irritated, and this really just helps calm it down, and it smells amazing. This is, I think, the only 2-in-1 shampoo I've ever used that I feel like actually does wonders on my hair. Not only does it smell good and it gets rid of, like, the itchy on my scalp it makes my hair feel and look great and I did use up this bath bomb from Ulta it's just a coconut and almond milk bath bomb it was a pretty decent size I did really like it Next, I used up a bag of cotton rounds I buy them from public CVS wherever I can get them on sale really but I cannot live without these and I mostly use this up this is my renewed hope in a jar by philosophy this is for the dry version it's okay as you can still as you can see there's like still a little bit in there but I'm not a huge fan of cream based moisturizers I'm more into gel and I don't know I feel like this is starting to go back so it's kind of starting to like change a little bit in smell and yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this I'm considering it empty I did use up a solid brush cleanser from Sephora basically there's just a bar of soap in here that you can use to clean your brushes and your sponges Beauty Blender makes one but this one from Sephora is actually a couple dollars cheaper and I feel like it works just as well next I did use up a couple of priming sprays so this one right here is from Wet n Wild I think that it did a good job of prolonging my makeup but there is definitely alcohol in this it's one of the first or second ingredients and it smells like there's alcohol in this and it didn't necessarily dry out my skin too bad I'm just trying to avoid using alcohol based products on my face so I would not repurchase this but for the price I thought I did a pretty good job of staying power and then I finished off my Smashbox photo finish primer water I've repurchased this a couple times I do really like it it doesn't have alcohol or silicone in it I have decided that I kind of like my Mario Badescu one more but I do like this I think it is a little pricey but it is worth trying out if you're curious next I used up a Viva Le Juicy perfume sample I love this so much that I actually bought the full size good how beautiful this bottle is but yeah like I, I love this so much I actually bought the full size next I used up a mini Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I absolutely love this I feel like this is the best powder I've ever used on my dry skin I can use it to set under my eyes I can use it to set my entire face and it does not make my skin look dry or cakey I am obsessed and I did use up my new favorite concealer don't worry I already have another tube going this is the infallible pro glow concealer I have mine in the shade classic ivory like this thing is dead <laughs> empty I I love it though I feel like this is the most perfect brightening medium coverage concealer it doesn't crease it's just oh my gosh I'm obsessed 
Okay, and finally, let's go ahead and talk about some candles I used up. So I wanted to really try to use up some candles this month because I did buy a couple new favorites from Bath & Body Works since, you know, it's fall. And this one back here, the one that I'm actually burning, is Marshmallow Fireside. It's my favorite candle of all time, and oh my gosh, it smells so good. But let's go ahead and get into the candles I actually used up. This first one is called Farmer's Market. I bought this at Home Goods last year, and I actually just finished it up. Really, it kind of smells like, um, you know, like fall leaves and pumpkins. It does smell quite good, and this is only $3.99. If you're looking for great candle deals, I would highly, highly suggest Home Goods. And speaking of Home Goods candles, I used up two of the Tranquil Lotus candles. This tiny one was $2.99. I think this giant one was maybe $10.99, but I've had this giant one forever. I really like to burn this scent in my bathroom. It's just a very clean smelling scent. Speaking of scents, I love to burn in my bathroom. This is from American Home by Yankee Candle, and this is Pink Island Sunset. So this one is by Yankee Candle, so it kind of makes sense that it smells a lot like pink sand. But it's a couple dollars cheaper than, like, the giant candles that you buy at Yankee Candle. I actually bought this at CVS, but I did quite like it, and I had it for a long time. And then this one right here is Clean Cotton by Glade. I love these candles. My only critique of them is that they seem to burn out so quickly. Like, I feel like I could go through one of these in, like, a day or two. And then finally, I used up the Moroccan Argon Oil Candle from Yankee Candle. I love this. This, again, is another candle that I picked up at HomeGoods. HomeGoods is great for finding Yankee Candle candles. And yeah, this smelled amazing. So that is everything I used up this month. If you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content from me in the future, please go ahead and subscribe down below. That way you're notified for future videos from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.